Contrasting Compositions, Mastering Comparisons and Contrasts in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our series on Describing Things. Today, we're going to focus on comparisons and contrasts and how to use them in everyday English. We'll be exploring how they help us in creating more detailed, precise, and interesting descriptions, especially when we're writing in English. First, let's understand what we mean by comparisons and contrasts. Comparisons are when we talk about the similarities between two or more things. On the other hand, contrasts refer to the differences. For example, if we're comparing apples and oranges, we might say, both are fruits. That's a comparison. But if we say, apples are crisp while oranges are juicy, that's a contrast. Now, let's delve deeper into comparisons. When we compare things, we usually use words like, as, like, or, similar to. Let's try this with an exercise. Describe a cat and a dog. Here's an example. A cat, like a dog, is a common household pet. In this sentence, we've compared a cat to a dog in terms of being common household pets. Contrasts, on the other hand, highlight the differences. We often use words such as, but, however, unlike, or, in contrast. Let's try the same exercise but this time, making a contrast. A cat is independent, unlike a dog, which often needs more attention. Here, we've contrasted a cat to a dog in terms of their need for attention. Now that we've learned the basics, it's time to practice with some writing exercises. Let's do a few together. 1. Compare and contrast a bicycle and a car. 2. Compare and contrast living in the city and living in the countryside. 3. Compare and contrast reading a book and watching a movie. Try to use the vocabulary and structures we've learned today in your descriptions. And that's it for today's lesson on comparisons and contrasts in English. Practice makes perfect, so keep practicing these comparisons and contrasts in your English writing. Remember, it's not only about making your writing more interesting, but also about conveying your thoughts more clearly. See you in the next video.